Hello. So in this video I will show you two tips regarding this soldering iron. Uh, first one is uh, with uh, battery. So this is a battery for a Bosch screwdriver and I'm using this for screwdriver and I carry also a charger for this battery with me. And uh, the thing is that I use this battery also to power this uh, soldering iron. So soldering iron is already set to use 12 volts, not 20. It's done in settings. Uh, this adapter here and those connectors I got on AliExpress. So you just put inside. This is only extension cable, nothing more. Just be careful with polarity. And now when we plug in it it works so that's one thing another thing that i use if i will be stationary then i use uh, this pa power supply with the same jack so this is portable thing so the second thing that i want to show you is for tips and uh, on aliexpress you can buy uh, tips for this Fnirsi uh, soldering iron and it has only specific range of tips so by mistake uh, I actually bought T12 uh, tips because I wanted to have uh, some tips types of tips which are not uh, available in this version and the uh, good thing is that uh, resistance of this tip is the same like on those or very close but the thing is that this is not really compatible with uh, mechanical soldering iron so it is possible to use it without any modification. On every tip I placed line, so if I use it here it will work and I will show you that the soldering iron really detects tip. So you can see it detected tip properly. If I take out it will show place the tip. But the thing is that the, after some time, when you work with this, it goes more inside and lose contact and then it will stop heating and so on. To prevent this, I made one part of aluminum. It's like this. So roughly it's 43 millimeters wide. Uh, this thickness is not really important as long uh, is larger than dimensions so uh, here is 5.5 millimeters it's this one here you drill hole through all material and then here you use m8 with a step of 0 0.8 millimeter to make the thread so now when we put this item no longer to tighten too much or whatever now i can use any of of those tips and now i will show you it is recognized and this cannot go inside anymore and now i can use and you, you can see i already used all of them or most of them and those tips are cheaper than original Fnirsi ones. But anyhow, if you want original, you can get them. But if you get T12 or you need, like this one, this one is very good for small components. But this type, you cannot get on this version, this small tip. And it works fine with heating and with uh, everything. And it's very easy to, to replace the tips, you can do it like that. You don't need to unscrew or screw anything. It's also recognized. 